All right, welcome to Let's Eat, a shopping app by the three of us. We will introduce ourselves. <laughs> <Heard about now. laughs> uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Sam Montague. Um, I am a recent graduate from the University of Illinois, Chicago with a degree in mechanical engineering. Um, I was always interested in kind of the coding aspect of my major, uh, which kind of led me to considering a career path uh, in software development, um, which led me to Dev10 and uh, where I am today. My name is Ryan Atkinson. I'm a recent grad from Stony Brook University. I majored in computer engineering and I've always enjoyed the software development aspect of my field. And that's basically what led me towards Dev10. And I'm Maddie Frick. I went to University of California, Santa Barbara, and I did biological sciences as my major. And I always enjoyed the coding aspect of all of my research projects. And I also grew up in Silicon Valley in Palo Alto. So Dev10 was a perfect leeway for me to jump from science to coding and computers. So why would you want to use Let's Eat? Made too much? Have way too many oranges from your backyard that will all go bad in two days if you don't eat all 50 of them? Want to make some cash and cook your favorite recipe for people to buy? Become a seller. Hungry for something fresh, homemade, locally grown? Become a buyer instead. So what, what is Let's Eat? Uh, basically, it's an online marketplace uh, for people to go sell and buy food. Um, people who sign up as uh, a seller uh, can go on and post a listing for uh, whatever food items that they want to sell and make some extra cash. Um, if you sign up as a buyer, you can go and list all of the items that people have listed um, and you can buy them. Um, and then we also have one uh, admin uh, who can log in and manage uh, all of the listings. Uh, they can edit or delete uh, bogus listings or buyers or sellers uh, that maybe listed something they shouldn't have. Um, they can go and manage all of those people. So this is our tech stack. It's very similar to all the other presentations you've seen today as we've done the same training. Uh, we use Java for database validations, REST controllers, database access. We use JavaScript to manage our web pages. We use Docker and MySQL for our database. We used React to create and manage our application and Bootstrap, Bootstrap and CSS for fancy styling choices to make our app look nicer. So now we're gonna get into the demo part of the presentation. Let's just log back out real quick. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of role-playing like the other groups, uh, Maddie. So I just moved here and I love to have stuff growing in my backyard and I love cooking, but I have no friends to give any of my oranges to or any of my home cooked meals to, and I can't eat it all myself. So actually scroll down a little bit. So I do want to befriend my neighbors and I do have that home cooked feel that I could give other people. So I want to become a seller. So I can harvest my fresh excess produce, create my excess baked bread or goods and list them online, make some money. So let me register now. My name is Maddie Frick. My email is mad at gmail.com. I live at one Smith place, um, Palo Alto, California. One, two, three, four, five. And Ryan, take your choice for my password. <laughs> With a nice, uh, nice typical password like password. I'd like to and select to be a seller. Sounds like a plan. Let's hit register real quick. As you can see, we're now signed in as a seller. So you've got uh, one option here, which is to go view your listing. So let's go take a look at that. As you can see, you've got no items currently. So you wanna you wanna sell something? Yeah. So my tree has lots of pears on it. So I'd like to list one of my pears, please. Um, it's a nice, juicy pear that is green. 
and I will sell it for four dollars because it is a amazing pair. All right, all this looks good. So I'm gonna hit the add new item button, and there it is. There's your new I pair. I also have so many lasagna noodles, and I just love cooking. So I'm gonna list my lasagna. Um, grandma's recipe and better than your lasagna. And it's going to be $15 because it's a really good pan of lasagna. All righty. And there we go. And then while I'm at it, since I'm new to this site, I do have a bike that I might want to sell. I know it's a food site, but let's try it out. So it's going to be called bike. It's a green cruiser with pink wheels. Important. And let's sell it for $400 because it's the best cruiser I've ever rode. Sounds good. And actually I realized my bike is rusty, so maybe I'll make it $200. And 200, right? Yes. All right, sounds that. good. Cool. So as you can right. see, now the bike is 200. We got a little bit of rust on it. And do you want to do anything else? No, I'm ready to make some money. All right, sounds good. So now we're going to go move on to Sam. He's going to be our buyer. For today. And I also just moved to the area. So uh, I would also like to register. But I would like to buy some stuff. So my first name is Sam, last name Montague. And my email is sam at gmail.com. And my address is 1 Main Street. And I'll do Palo Alto, California as well. I assume that one, two, also three, means four, that you're five. in the 12345 area. Yeah. And, and you can go, go ahead with the and, same and set up a password for me. And I will and choose to be a buyer. buyer. All right, I'm gonna hit register. And hello, your assignment is a buyer. Cool. So again, you've really so I would like got to go pretty limited view, options here. <laughs> I'd like to view yeah, listings. Let's view the listings. As you can see, there's a ton of different things on here that you can buy. There's a buy item button off to the side. Um, and take I, your think pick. That, what are you I think that. That lasagna looks pretty good, so All right, I'd like to buy to that. Buy. And yes, I'm sure. sure. All right, sounds yes. good. So as you and can see, now that you've bought it, it's unavailable. You no longer purchase lasagna, sadly. Do you want to buy anything maybe else? Maybe I will try the pecan and mushroom crepes. Pecan and mushroom crepes, great choice. But so I just that? remembered that I don't actually like mushrooms, so I'm going to cancel that. All right. Sounds like a plan. Um, hmm. What else looks good? Uh, peach and almond biscuits looks good, too. So why don't peach I buy that? And almond biscuits. Ooh. Fine choice. All right. And Are I'm you sure. sure about that? All right. Cool. And now that's unavailable. All right. You want to buy anything else? Um. I think that I'm good for now. All right, log, sounds yeah. good. Now I'm gonna sign in as the administrator for the website. I've got a very cool email, ryguy at gmail.com. I've actually got the same password as them, so don't tell them that. And as you can see, I'm now signing as an admin, so I can view a bunch of different things up here at the top. I can manage the buyers, I can manage the sellers, I can manage the listings. So I think first I'm gonna manage the listings. Take a, take a quick look at these real quick. Uh, so as you can see, the buyer IDs were set up properly. And hey, wh what's this bike doing here? This doesn't make any sense. This is a food website. You can't be selling bikes. I think I'm going to have to delete this. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe someone listed a bike on our website. That's absurd. All right. And if I remember correctly, I think that the person who was selling that bike was uh, Maddie Frick. I'm going to I'm gonna have to kick you off the website. No. That's just absurd. I can't believe you would sell a bike on our website. Let's get rid of that. Let's just go back to the listings and make sure, yep, the listing that she had that was not purchased yet is also gone now. And actually, the other listing as well has been deleted. And finally, let's take a look at the buyers. So we've got Sam, which is our most recent one. Let's edit him real quick. 
I'm feeling Hello, Brian. Uh, Why don't you cancel that? And it looks like one? I made an account with a different Ooh, address. Oh, that's a good idea. I should have so, this one instead. So maybe maybe we can just delete that one. Yeah, you want to delete this first one instead? Like yeah, why idea. don't I delete that one? Sounds like a plan. And it's gone. Um, and then actually, I remembered that my email is actually sam123 at gmail.com. Ah, sam123. Okay, cool. And let's just edit that. And boom, your email has been updated. Um, so that's basically the gist of our entire website. Uh, we've got a contact page right here for the the coolest creators of our project. We've got a quick about page. And finally, we've got our home page where it just says, let's eat. So that about wraps it up for our demo. Let's go back to here and we're on to the next slide. Um, so this is the team dynamic slide. Maddie did a lot of the work on the front end, a lot of the CSS styling, and uh, also helped us out with our SQL database. I worked uh, full stack trying to just bounce around and help out wherever I could. And I also did uh, a lot of the testing because I know a lot of people don't like doing testing, but I'm pretty fine with it. And I also helped out with the SQL stuff. Uh, Sam really carried us out on that back end, uh, got the security like worked out pretty pretty fast. And that was, uh, that was a great help and also helped with the SQL database. So some of the challenges that we ran into I uh, was doing the authorization for different users, whether it be a, a seller, buyer, or admin, um, and then also going along with that, uh, changing the UI, depending on uh, the user that logged in, uh, just displaying the uh, different components that we needed, depending on um, the user that's logged in. Um, also, some front-end integration with the back-end, we ran into uh, some challenges there. Um, the CSS styling uh, wasn't something that we did a whole lot of uh, during the training. So that took a uh, little research uh, to make everything uh, look how it did, make it look pretty. Um, and then also just uh, the coordination uh, of code uh, with everyone working on uh, the same project at the same time. Um, we ended up running into a couple uh, conflicts that we had to resolve uh, with with merging all of our code. Um, but yeah, those were some of the major challenges that we ran into. And future features, if we continue to further this app, we would definitely add a shopping cart that lets you purchase multiple items at once instead of just choosing one item, buying it, and then going back to the items. Um, also viewing items that you bought. So if you are a buyer, you could have a list of items that you've already purchased. Uh, actually have payments because there's no really money involved right now in our website. And a report system for admins to view problematic items such as my bike. And we would change seller ID and buyer ID to seller name and buyer name so that it's more personal than just numbers and you really know who you're buying from and then you could see their address or where to pick it up or somehow do the item exchange. And that's all we've got. Any questions? Congratulations, you guys. Um, really, really well done. And um, I'm curious from this group, I know some of you had some coding experience, some of you didn't. Uh, looking back 15 weeks ago, is this something that you would have been able to achieve? And tagged on with that, I do want to know maybe what your favorite technology was that you, you got to work with during this project. So let's start with Ryan. Um, so when I was back in college, I did a lot of um, UI stuff. It wasn't anything with front end work, though. It was really more so like making a UI that you could interact with inside of like the terminal. So I don't think I could have done any of this front end stuff and made a website that looked nearly as good as this one did, but I think I could maybe do some of the crud work that was involved in the background, but yeah, definitely not. Definitely not without this 15 weeks of training. What was your favorite other... technology? Right. Uh, my favorite technology was gotta be um, working with, um, it's not React, but like the CSS styling was actually 
pretty interesting once I once it kind of clicked. I was like, this is this is really nice to to work with. And like the uh, the authorization stuff was actually pretty interesting as well. Uh, learning about the, the Java web tokens was uh, it was interesting at the very least. It, it took a little bit of time to get used to it. But once uh, once we figured out how to like interact with the tokens properly, I felt like that was one of the nicer components that we got to use. You're, I will say you're one of the few, I think, that's expressed joy in, in uh, security and JWT. And what can I say? That. So that's I like great. the challenge. I love it. Sam, how about you? Uh, yeah, so um, I had not have, uh, I had not had any experience with either Java or JavaScript or pretty much anything uh, that we worked with before the, the 15 weeks. So uh, to answer your first question, I, I absolutely could not have put this together uh, 15 weeks ago. Um, and as far as uh, my favorite technology, um, I kind of agree with Ryan with like uh, the CSS uh, styling um, with how that uh, integrates with uh, the JavaScript and the React. Um, it just really makes, um, makes the application look nice how we want it to. Uh, so that was probably my favorite part. And last but not least. Yeah, I, there's no way I would have ever been able to do any of this. I, I knew some R. I knew how to do data in R, which um, has nothing to do with anything that we've done in this. So no, there's no way I would have been able to. And my favorite part, I'm mad at them for taking it. It was honestly the CSS, which I actually clicked like two days ago which I'm pretty sad about because I know if there was more time, I could actually, it'd be more of a, a put together website, not kind of just every page has its own little sparkles, if that makes sense. Yeah. But the CSS was really cool at the end and I wish I remembered more from our initial interview lessons, which we did learn this from before we even started the cohort, but definitely that and Honestly, React. React became more familiar to me during this project, which was pretty cool because it scared me a lot when we were learning it. Absolutely. Mo wants to know, what are some of your weaker areas in your skill set and how are you going to improve on those skills in the future? So we'll start in reverse order here. So Madeline, looking at maybe some of the areas that you, you recognize you want to continue working on and, and building out that, that comfort level with. I'm really good at um, kind of copying what we used to do and then switching it a little bit to what we're doing now, but I'm much less comfortable kind of creating my own methods and stuff. And also security scared me so much. Sam and Ryan really did an amazing job doing that. And yeah, I think moving forward, it's just ask a ton of questions, which I think is the way I've it's definitely the way I've made it through these 15 weeks, asking questions to other people and friends and Will and Paul has definitely worked just to guide you through. And it's like before you end up getting in a horrible hole, just ask questions and then usually your friends can help you out a lot faster. Don't dig yourself too deep for too long, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sam, how about you? What are maybe some of your goals to build out your skill set technically? Yeah, um, I would say uh, one of my weaker areas is probably in um, the React um, as well. Just managing all the different components um, was kind of a, a challenge for me. Um, I worked a lot more on uh, the back end and also the security, uh, which the security um, I would say is maybe, I, I definitely learned a lot about doing that, but it was also a challenge for me. Um, but yeah, I agree with Maddie. Just if I ever get hung up or stuck on something, uh, just asking my peers or, uh, instructors for, for help, um, is the best thing to do. Absolutely. And last but not least, Ryan. Um, I'm going to start off and say, Ditto on the asking questions. Definitely, that was like a, a big help is, uh, you know, being able to ask all of your coworkers like, hey, does anyone have any idea on how to like resolve this problem, so on and so forth. That was definitely a huge help in these projects. But I would say the, 
one thing that I want to work on in the future is uh, how much stuff is inside of the JavaScript files. I feel like we had a bunch of stuff inside of our files that was a little bit unnecessary. Um, some of the aspects of our project could have been designed a little bit more different, but I do think it was still, um, it was definitely still a, a good, a good project all around, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of unused code scattered around throughout all of our files. So I think optimization of, of uh, those files is probably what I'd like to work on in the future. I, I agree with that. I think uh, we could have definitely been a little more organized uh, with our code. Uh, that would have helped us out a lot. But um, yeah, it's definitely a learning experience, <laughs> something to work on in the future. So. Well, you guys did a fantastic job. It is no small feat, as everyone has said, to get to this point and to be able to put together this size of an application. So congratulations, really well done. Sit back, relax, and um, enjoy the last two presentations here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.